New Hyde Park, New York, is the first town established village outside of New York City, bordering the Borough of Queens. And it is a community of mostly blue collar um, working class people, very transitional community. And it's also changing more into a diverse community as well in recent years. Lots of Asians have moved into the area, Orientals, um, Indians from India, as well as those who were here from, who actually migrated from Queens, yes, crossing the borders into Long Island <laughs> in, in the early mid-50s. And so this congregation is, is steeped in its, its German roots, German Lutheran roots, also Scandinavian. But there's been recently a, a draw for the multicultural piece of it, so in, to invite more people from the community to reflect what the community looks like. It is a great place to be because we have a nursery school, which has been a, a long-standing stronghold in this congregation. It has outlasted many pastors and outlasted lots of, lots of um, challenges and it's celebrating its 35th year as we speak and that has certainly helped shape our community as well as our congregation and uh, was there when the congregation needed most during some financial difficulties in recent times I feel at this moment the congregation is what I call ripe for ministry or ripe for mission and in as much as they were saddled with that burden, financial issues, about seven, eight years ago, I think the time is ready right now because we are on the cusp of breaking through. Recently, we, got a, we purchased, acquired a parsonage, uh, which had to be sold during that turmoil, financial turmoil. And so the congregation is, is ready to, to take off once again and to be launching out into great ministry. I just looked at the numbers for Vacation Bible School and it's 131 registered. Uh, last year was just in the mid-90s. So something certainly is going to happen on this place and we're looking forward to, to really reaping the rewards of the turmoil and the patience and the endurance and the perseverance of those who were here. The nursing school has been what I would term a window into this congregation and they certainly are a part of the congregation when they come for chapel services. We hold chapel for our nursery school every three weeks. They come and they hear stories, we sing songs, we pray, I teach them how to pray. And uh, this is a church nursery school, so it is certainly a breathing ground for Christians, even, even if they come to this congregation after they grow up or not, it is an opportunity and an outreach to the community. What I said at my installation service to this congregation was, by calling me to be a part of this ministry is affirming their call to be a global church. And I know some of them before my name or even where I, my bio was circulated within this congregation, didn't know where in the world was Guyana, South America. And that alone said a lot about them. But I also bring the gift of youth ministry into this mix. And that I think, that I know, is badly needed in this congregation. If you look at the average age of this congregation, I would simply say it's 68. And that's not where we want to be as a church or as a, an emerging church. And so I've been doing my best with our resources available, even within this building. We have a nice gym, furnished basketball court to have our youth come and utilize this space. It's been a struggle because it has never been used the way I would like to, 
to promote and for us to really get involved with it. But it is certainly catching on. And if I, if I get five or six youth in this building on a Sunday night, on the second Sunday of each month, it is a testament to their interest in this place. And that's where it's all it's going to take off. It's youth ministry and, and building a foundation for them to grow on. And uh, for an average age of 68, it's without a youth ministry, it's depressing. I have to go back to my undergrad and my years of working experience before seminary. And I'm grateful for those years in management and accounting and quality assurance to, to help to organize my time, my life, and the work that I have to do in order to see better results. And planning is an important part of, of that process. Early plans, communicating with those people that are in need, communicating that you need volunteers or to get people involved in what you'd like to do, and to motivate them. Be pumped so that they can be pumped, inspire, teach, equip. Those are some things that I've learned in the past that worked in my life that I've certainly um, utilized here.